One of the first things that you'll have to do in order to get started in this class is to learn how to launch software applications, specifically Photoshop, but we're also going to use Adobe Bridge and Camera Raw and Illustrator and InDesign if we have time. It depends on the semester and how far we kind of progress um, with each kind of different group that, we, that we're with. Um, but first and foremost, you have to be able to launch the program, and there's a lot of different ways to do that. And so one of the ways to launch the program is to use SLCC All Access. And if that's what you're planning to do, there's an announcement uh, via the Announcements tab that has a series of videos that walks you through that whole process, so I'm not going to cover that in this video. Um, if you have the software installed on your computer or you're at school and you're in one of the visual art and design computer labs and they have the software installed, um, you can just access it from the computer. And so I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to show you the Mac version. If you're on a PC at home, it's similar but slightly different and you'll have to figure out that option for the PC. And so for a Mac, one of my favorite ways to open things is to come up in the top right hand corner and click on the little magnifying glass. It's called Spotlight. And then you can type what you're looking for. And so if you saved something and you know that it has your last name, you can type your last name in and anything with your last name would pop up on the list. And so the same idea applies for software. If I'm looking for the calculator, I could type that in, it would find the calculator for me. Or since I'm looking for Photoshop, you can find Photoshop and then you can open the software. In addition, there's some other ways. If you have a hard drive on your desktop, you can double click on that. And that's one way to navigate through the, through the, um, through the computer so then you can choose the desktop so you can go to users and then your user and your desktop. Um, on the left hand side here if you're at home you can click on the desktop as well. Um, my computer at school has been disabled because so many different people use it so you do have to click on the hard drive, go to your user, find yourself and then select your desktop that way. You can also do the same thing by using the finder, which is a little blue guy on your dock, whether your dock's on the bottom of your screen or on the side. And you can click on that. You can click on Applications, and then you can choose Photoshop. And you can launch Photoshop that way. So however you want to launch the program, go ahead and launch it. Um, if you are trying to use the Creative Cloud, it's slightly different. And I'm not going to demo that because it's not a requirement for this class. But if you're having trouble with it, email me and or come to one of my online office hours and I'm happy to walk you through that process.